If you can see the inside of the speaker like this, that means the speaker is towed out. If you can see the outside of the speaker like this, that means the speaker is towed in. Let's talk real fast about what on-axis versus off-axis means. I've noticed there's been a lot of questions, especially as of late, about what I mean when I say toe out or how I talk about aiming a speaker to get the best possible sound out of it. So let's start with the most simple thing. When you bring a set of speakers home, you should typically aim them directly at you. And aiming them directly at you would be them facing you on axis. So this is gonna be our pretend left speaker. This is gonna be your left speaker, my right, your left. And what I've got it set up right now is directly on axis, which means that the speaker is pointed right at you, the listener. There's no deviation in angle. It's pointed right at you from this side. And then your right speaker would be naturally doing the same thing. In this case, the tweeter is the primary axis line. So we're gonna say we want our ears to line up directly with the front of the speaker at the tweeter level. So right here. There are cases, and I talk about these in my review, so I'm not gonna get into specifically why, but there are cases where sometimes turning the speaker off axis helps. And what do I mean when I say off axis? Pretty simple, it's anything that's not on axis. So anything like that or that, those are considered off axis. The main question that's come up is what do I mean when I say toe out? When I say toe out, I am talking about taking a speaker's on axis position and turning it away from you. And in this particular case, you would want the left speaker to point at your left shoulder. So something like this, That would be considered toe out. If you can see the inside portion of the speaker, that means it's toed out. And that's what I'm talking about when I say toe out. It's pointing at your same shoulder that the speaker is on the side of. So left speaker, left shoulder, toe out, or beyond. So even further out that way. Now, if I were to say to turn the speaker more inward, which would be toe in, then it would be crossing in front of you. So Basically, this left speaker would be coming across to your right shoulder. That would be toe in. One reason why you may want to turn a speaker off axis at all is, let's say you have a speaker that has a tilted high frequency and you just don't like it. Well, one way to resolve that is to turn the speaker one way or the other. But remember, toe in versus toe out will have different effects. Now I am talking in general terms and I need to stress that because invariably somebody is gonna say, well, you didn't say this thing. I know this is more or less just a FYI so you understand what I'm talking about when I say toe in versus toe out. As I said before, there are multiple reasons why you may wanna to toe a speaker in or out. Generally speaking, I prefer a speaker to be towed out. And the reason for that is most of the time, the speakers that I find that do better when they're towed out do so because maybe they're a coaxial design or they're a horn loaded design where there is some sort of diffraction effect. And in order to get the best overall performance of the speaker, you wanna turn the speaker slightly off axis. And usually that's around 10 to 15 to 20 degrees off axis. But rather than just turn it any old way off axis, I prefer to go with toe out because also horn loaded speakers and concentric designs typically have a more narrow radiation pattern. And that narrower radiation pattern for me isn't that thrilling. I want something that's more involving. So in order to get some more involvement in the radiation pattern, so stereo width, I will tow the speaker out. Now what this does is it opens up more room to the side of the speaker for reflections to occur, and it gives you a better stereo effect from the reflections on the sidewall. See, not all reflections are bad. The other option is to tow the speaker inward and have it cross in front of you. So the stereo images are crossing in front of you rather than behind your head like it would if it were towed out. 
Now, the reason that you might want to do that is for time intensity trading. And I'm going to give a very quick example of what that means. In a standard stereo configuration, you are sitting dead center between the speakers and you have a perfect phantom center channel right in front of you. As soon as you move to a side seat, either way, that stereo image falls apart quickly and everything moves to the closest speaker that you've moved near to. So if you've moved to the left, then you're going to hear more sounds from the left speaker. You're not going to have that perfect center image anymore. And the sound stage is going to want to collapse on the left side. When you crossfire speakers and you tow them inward, that produces less treble from the near side speaker and more treble from the far side speaker. Because think about it, that far side speaker is crossing in front of the center position, which means it's going to hit the left position that you'd be sitting at more so than the left speaker would be. And in doing so, you trade off high frequency content on the left speaker versus high frequency content on the right speaker. So you get more high frequency content from that cross speaker than you do from that near speaker. And that is what you would call cross firing or toe in. So again, to recap, on axis, zero degrees, speakers facing directly at you. Off axis, any other angle, this, that even turned around. Those are all off axis. If you can see the inside of the speaker like this, that means the speaker is towed out. If you can see the outside of the speaker like this, that means the speaker is towed in. Hope that helps you all understand this a little bit more when I talk about toe in versus toe out and why you may want to use it. Talk to y'all later. Peace.